Hello everyone, today we're checking out Ayamare with Bizarre Food. Now this was something a lot of you recommended to me, so here we are to check it out. Let's just hit play in 3, 2, 1, play. Alright, epilepsy warning. <laughs> okay. Okay, looks like we're gonna have her singing over the Doom soundtrack. Does that hurt? <laughs> what if you told me that she would scream in this? So, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Is that hurt? That's kind of insane. That's, I mean, you can tell it's treated, but still, that's awesome. Okay, nice. We we have that interjectory guitar adding that little uh, kind of like sassiness to the mix. And then we've got uh, a layered vocal, actually, where her vocal tone is very nasal here. And we, we've got this like a layered vocal um over, like behind it. It could be like an echo. Okay, some soft bit. Oh. We have like some soft pitch correction, but it's not very intrusive, so. Hmm. Okay. 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 All right, I have mixed feelings. That's pretty good though. Okay. I'm, I'm loving, uh, <laughs> I'm loving the guitar here. The guitar sounds amazing. Um, <laughs> but I, it, there, there's some interesting, uh, you know, this is a very hectic composition here. Um, her voice is, I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. You know, it, it's a very, it, it's a little bit suppressed and I'm not a huge fan of that, but I feel like, you know, th this chaotic nature of the song really lends itself to that, those heavy digital effects, right? Um, I'm loving her screams though. She, she her screams are beautiful. They, they sound, oh, okay. Well, that sounds a little weird out of context, but I, I'm saying her metal scream vocals are really, really awesome here. I mean, she sounds awesome when <laughs> right there. Oh, like it's super, super clean. It's very stable, and you you can tell we're kind of like bringing it a little bit back in the mix, so it's not like super intensive. Um, so I'm assuming so if there is any like uh, a little bit of wavering or anything, we're able to kind of obscure it with the the noise of the mix, um, around it. Um, but it, I mean, it's still, I mean, that, that's really, really awesome. I, I love, <laughs> I, I love how she sounds there. She sounds great. I, I do think it's a little bit just too much of a juxtaposition from that to these really high pitched vocals here, which is more of a compositional thing. I suppose I, I do believe this. Yeah, this is a cover. So it, it's not like she's writing this and making this to her voice, but I, I still think, um, I, I still think we can maybe lean away from that additional effect on her voice and get it a little bit clearer here. Because she has a really, really pretty voice from what I remember. It's been a very long time since I heard um I uh, I believe like the last time was like her Lucifer cover or something like that. Um it, it's been a very long time. But from what I remember, I I remember liking her voice, but I believe it was a complaint I had in her last cover as well, where I was like I, I want to hear more of her voice past the, that suppression. And so I, I, I do wish it was just a little cleaner on those high vocals. But she sounds awesome. She's killing it on those screams. It sounds awesome there.
Oh, nice. And we got this, like, Gojira style, like a riff here. Nice. I love that. Okay, leaning more to the distortion there. Okay. If I'm hearing right, that that sounds like we're just uh we're going into just a dissonant like tritone or something. Um very open. I, I'm hearing like an open string just all in on the gent aspect of it. Well, maybe not the gent aspect, just really heavy. Um and really showcasing those screams. I love it. I love it. Nice. I, I really like I really like sustaining that uh, that backing guitar and the interjection. It's not a complete cutout. We still have a little bit of instrumentation holding on, and then we have another impact. So it, it keeps it. It doesn't feel ironically too jarring uh, to, which seems like a weird thing to say what is it, we're just going all in metal screams with this heavy instrumentation but i'm loving what she's doing here this is awesome super stable nice i like that actually we got like a little more character in her scream as she was Thing because of you we get to get a little bit more and it, it kind of helps with you know the lyrics there and it gets her to the you it gets her to kind of move her mouth like that but i mean this is awesome i i really really love this this is uh, this is my cup of tea right here i love this clapping a clapping percussive after that you don't need to clap okay mm, that's nice i really like the percussive matching her on those vocals i love that Mm. It's just in my right ear. I really love this. Mm. I, I I heard like a little like lip as she's coming back up, and I'm not sure if that was the effect on her breath as she's coming out of that line or if that was her making that noise there oh okay that was a way less like bassy and more of like a mid-tone we that was very clear we didn't have like a whole lot of effect on that that was that was actually really really cool Nice. That's like where I feel like auto screams, like where like autos screams tend to like go. It, I feel like it's right in that kind of like mid tone kind of chest voice. It's a it's a little like throaty, but it's still got a lot of like power behind it. Um, which which is a, kind of a a very different take from Aya's earlier screams, where she was kind of down lower, more bassy. It was a bit more rumbly, kind of more abdominal. And we also had the effect on it, which was, you know, obviously treating it to be a little bit, um, ironically softer. Uh, but I, I really, really love that now we're kind of getting into those, like, you know, we're getting these different aesthetics on her, her metal screams. I, I love this. I, I really, really love what she's doing here. I really wish those high vocals were cleaner. Hmm. Alright. Was Bizarre Food covered by Aya Amare?
And to clarify, when I'm saying I want those high vocals cleaner, I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about like the mix and I like those effects on her voice. I, I wish we just got more of a clean vocal because I want to hear more of her voice through that. I, I think there's too much um I think there's too much effect on those high vocals. I, I think because of the aesthetic of the song, it makes sense to have that effect, right? Um, but I, I think there needs to be a tiny bit less um on a majority of that and that way we also get more impact from the effect so maybe having it on like alternating lines or something or maybe not alternating lines but you know having it on a specific lines to as an emphasis rather than having it just the whole time and there are times where we do we use even more uh, suppression and effect as an emphasis um but i think that's too much uh i i really love her screams here i her metal screams here i mean they were super, super cool. They felt very, very clean. She felt very comfortable doing those. I mean, you know, the, the screams themselves felt very comfortable. They were super stable. There wasn't like a lot of wavering and it didn't feel like it, it was like kind of crackling up. Um, because, you know, if you, if someone who's like not super good at getting those metal screams does it, you can kind of tell it's a little bit more like it, yeah ironically it's a little more visceral sometimes but it's not necessarily clean or aesthetic it's not super stable there's going to be like a wavering it's, it's not really holding its own but it, she got those spot on and obviously the mix treatment helps of course it always helps but um well maybe not always but it, it does help and so but still even then i mean she did an incredible job here this was really really good um, I, I do think that, you know, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit, but uh, I, I really want more of her voice to show through on these covers because it, it's it's not really like I, I, I love her lower register coming out, but th those high notes, I, I want to hear her voice um, more through those. You know, well, we're getting her voice, but it's, it's very synthesized. It's very, if, and I, I really, really want to hear more for her. I am... I'm like a 90% sure this was like the exact same complaint I had on her uh, on her previous cover that we checked out like a, a long time ago. I, I just want to hear more of her voice in her cover. Sorry for bumping the mic there if you hear that. But, you know, it's she's the spotlight. She's the vocalist. We got to hear more of her. And so it's, you know, it's kind of give and take whether you want to lean more into the aesthetic of the song or more into um the vocalist uh, who's covering it but nonetheless this was super super cool i i'm really really happy with how this came out and uh i i hope she's getting like credits and uh getting like paid from this <laughs> hopefully i i hope she's getting like stuff you know there's a lot of precious things going on g's treatment stuff um uh, i don't know what to say i'm just here for the music all i'm here for it's all i can talk about so i mean i'm i'm really enjoying her work here i hope she's i hope she's all right i hope she's having a good time this is some awesome work from her and i really want to hear more from her so yeah thank you for watching thank you for recommending this and as always feel free to recommend more things for me to check out in the comments below aside from that i'll see you all next time thank you so much